Hi guys, there are 10 scientifically proven facts about the human sperm cell that everybody should know. Number one, sperm cells are produced in the testes, commonly called balls, due to their texture. There are two testes or testicles and are located outside the body, precisely in the scrotum. Number two, the testes produce over 100 million sperm cells every single day. But it takes more than two months, about 64 to 74 days, for each of these sperm cells to mature. This process is known as spermatogenesis. Number three, the sperm cell is the smallest cell in men, and you will need a very powerful microscope to view it. What do you think is the smallest cell in women? Let me know in the comment section. Number four, wearing tight pants or boxers can lower sperm production. This is because the testes needs a temperature that is two to five times lower than body temperature. So when you wear tight pants or boxers, you force your testes to embrace your body, which is too hot for it to function. Number five, the testes were originally formed in the abdomen, but they descended down to the scrotum, which is located outside the body, because the interior of the body is too hot for them to produce sperm cells. Number six, low sperm count, according to World Health Organization, is when you have less than 15 million sperm cells in one milliliter of semen. Each ejaculation contains about five milliliter of semen. Number seven, a man with low sperm count can still get a woman pregnant if most of the sperm cells are healthy and in good shape. Number eight, swallowing sperm cells is generally safe if there are no sexually transmitted infections. In fact, some studies have proven semen to be a source of proteins, vitamins, and some other minerals. Number nine, sperm cells are very patient. They can spend as long as three to five days in the female body waiting for an egg to fertilize. So if you had sex two days ago, there are chances that you're still carrying the man's sperm cells around. Number 10, during fertilization, a sperm cell only contributes its nucleus in forming the zygote. Every other part of the zygote, like the cytoplasm and the organelles like mitochondria, only come from the egg cell. I have plans to discuss several facts about the human body in this channel. And if there's something that interests you, feel free to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to stay tuned. Also, give me a thumbs up by clicking on the like icon on your screen if you learned something. 